going to go down to the wire, I think. OK, well, let's head over um, to see commentary of the remainder of this discus final. At the moment, Noel does have her hands, at least one hand anyway, on the bronze medal, but it is very tight, Con. One hand, perhaps, but hopefully it'll be two hands very, very shortly indeed. We're down to the last round. And this is Ava Berner, currently in seventh position. Her last attempt. I mentioned earlier on, she has a PB of 30.79, but hasn't really been throwing those sort of distances this evening. She's been consistently around the 26, 27 metre mark. 30 years of age now, Ava Berna. That one was 28.30, so it is her best effort. Moves her up to sixth position. Ahead of Jennifer Brown, the Canadian. We're getting to the business end of this discus final now. Can Beverly Jones from Wales come up with a big one here? She has been known to do it in the past. She has thrown 31.99. At the moment, 28.53 is her best. And that's not going to beat that. So there won't be any medal for Beverly Jones. The former cricketer. 27 metres and 16 centimetres. I suppose as a former cricketer, you could say she's out at this point. But a fifth place finish, still very creditable for Beverly. She's now 41 years of age. This next effort is going to be crucial. As Joanne said in studio, Renee Danielle Fossil is the one woman who can now prevent Noel Lenehan from winning a medal. Her best attempt so far, 30 metres and 70. She needs to beat 31 metres and 71, which Noel currently has. Now, Noel will have another go after Fossil here. And let's see how she fares. Looking for a big one. It's a good effort from Fossell. These are nervous moments. Again, from her reaction, she doesn't look delighted with it. It's 30 metres and 47 centimetres. It doesn't beat her best of 30 metres and 70. And it means that Noel Lenehan is guaranteed a medal. So a third medal for Ireland in discus with Orla Barry and Neve McCarthy already having collected silver. Noel, another Cork woman with another medal. And now we just have to find out what colour that medal is going to be. Can she beat 33 metres and 31? Coelho, currently the silver medal position. There's just a slight delay before Noel goes into the circle here, which won't be doing her nerves any good. Looks like it's going to be another presentation in the stadium as some of the uh, officials stand to attention. You just see the little cone there in the circle indicating that Noel just has to hang on. These are nervous moments back to the studio. Con, thank you very much for that. Yeah, it was such nervous moments there for Noelle. Like, yeah. she's 16 years old. How is she feeling right now? Well, it looks like she's keeping pretty calm and pretty cool, to be honest. And, and that's, that's kind of typical of Noelle. Um, she's not letting her emotions show, but I think she just looks like somebody who's just trusted the process the whole way through. Her technique has stayed you know, pretty consistent. Her score, she had a couple of below par scores on her second and third throw, but her fourth and fifth have been you know, at 30 metres and above again. So she's been staying really consistent and she's got a little bit of a shot to nothing now on this last throw. She's guaranteed the bronze. Uh, one of the challenges in the discus is you've always got to manage you know, how much momentum and how much speed you carry through the turn into the throw. Um, if you give too much there, you run the risk of fouling by exiting out the front of the circle. So potentially now Noel can push the, push the boundaries a little bit, push the edge a little bit and, 
and, and, and potentially try and creep a little bit close to that so, silver medal so position. So risk, risk going, perhaps fouling. Yeah, why the, not? The chance yeah. that you might get, end up with the no. silver. Exactly, yeah. So nothing to lose here. OK, well, everybody's very nervous over here, Con. Well, I think the nerves have dissipated a bit now that Noel has guaranteed that bronze at least. And as Eamon was saying there, she can really give this a lash now. 32 metres and 14 is her PB, so she's going to have to beat that if she's going to make the silver medal. 33-31 is the target. Away she sends it. Oh, it's a good effort. I don't think it's going to challenge for that silver medal, though. She looks calm, doesn't she? For 16 years of age, her first Paralympic final. It's been a marvellous achievement to, to medal at 16 years of age against these athletes who are in their 20s and 30s. And that's a lovely gesture there from Rene Fossel to give her the big hug. 31 metres and 8 centimetres. So again, no improvement on the 31.71. But it is a medal for Noel Lenehan. At 16 years of age, unbelievable. So now we have Charlene Coelho. Again, a bit like Noel, she has a shot to nothing here. She can really, really give this a go now. Try and make that 37 metres and 60. It's not going to be quite there. It is a good attempt. And she's been throwing consistently well. And a deserving silver medalist. The 35-year-old for Brazil and that's 33 meters and 91 so it is her best attempt yet and it is a new Latin American record and it is a guaranteed silver medal for Shirley Coelho so bronze for Noel Lennon from Charleville in County Cork three Cork throwers in the discus three Cork medalists I don't know, does that count as three medals for the uh, Independent Republic of Cork? Well, there are certainly medals for Ireland anyway. And it looks like Mina isn't going to bother with her last throw. Why should she? 37 metres and 60, a world record and a gold medal for her. So gold once more for Mina to add to the gold she won in London and in Beijing. She really is a phenomenal thrower, 30 years of age. 35-year-old silver medalist and a 16-year-old bronze medalist, Noel Lenehan from Cork. And she will bring back that medal very, very proudly to Ireland. With Mina taking the adulation and the photographs from the crowd there. Most of them are actually concentrating their cameras on the silver medalist, Shirley Coelho, who's out of shot at the moment. There she is. But the home crowd getting ready to take their snaps of her and the all-important flag silver medal for her to add to the gold that she took in the uh, javelin event she was also fourth in the shot put so she's had a very very successful week in the olympic stadium Shirley Coelho 33 meters and 91 for silver and there she is, Noelle Lennon, a bronze medal, 31 metres and 71 with her first throw. She was the second thrower into the circle. She whacked it out, 31 metres and 71 centimetres. And that's good enough for a bronze medal. How good is that to see her smiling, knowing that she has won her first of what will probably be many Paralympic medals. I don't think anybody would argue with that, the first of many medals, we certainly hope so. I know she was smiling there at the end, but when she had that last throw, to me it looked like she was annoyed, she wanted better than bronze. Yeah, I think so, I think Noelle has that mindset, She'll, she, she would have gone there to, to win potentially, and she has that mindset, but you know, this is a huge step forward for her, you know, like I said, I think this game is a game's early for her, she's coming here for experience, coming here to experience the big stage for the first time. Uh, to, 
deliver a bronze medal is just an incredible achievement and I'm, I'm, uh, I'm delighted for her, I'm delighted for her, her dad Jim and her, her mum Elizabeth, uh, Jim is her, her coach as well, um, so they just must be, they should be and they will be absolutely over the moon for her. It's not just her first Paralympic game. She only had her first international last year, didn't she? It's some achievement. Yeah, I mean, she's, she's so young. Um, she's been throwing for a long time and she's had that coaching input from her dad for a long time, which is terrific. And that's, you know, given her the foundation to, to get her where she is. And Dave Sweeney, the national throws coach, have been able to tweak things and, and help her continue to progress along with her dad, Jim. Uh, but I mean, she's a school kid, you know, she's got to balance the demands of Monday to Friday in the classroom. Um, she had to do her first day of school the day before she flew out to Rio this year. Um, so I don't think you can't really be underestimated what she's, what she's achieved tonight. And more to the point, I know we've said it already, how she just seems to take it all in her stride. It, it reminded me a little bit of the lady sitting next to you because we see her with a smile all the time. <laughs> When, when Natalia came on uh, the TV when she was in Rio this year, I didn't recognise her because she had this competition face on. And it, it's quite like Noelle, isn't it? Yeah, it is. She just takes everything in her stride.